Officer Hezekiah. And I'm Officer Isaac. Officer Yarn. Soldier Jebniel. And we are Custom from the Streets. IUIC Louisville. Broadway. We're doing another edition of Cuts from the Streets. We're going to the people and asking them what do they know about Easter. So stay tuned. It's going to be a good one because I'm pretty sure our people don't know anything about Easter. Right. So, Shalom, Most High Christ bless. Shalom, Most Shalom, Christ Most High Christ bless you. Most High Christ bless you. I'm Officer Isaac and to my right I have Tristan, aka Slim. Brother Tristan. Brother, what, you want me to call you that? Or yeah, you? That's okay. Cool, man. Cuts from the street. Um, I'm Officer Yan, and right now we're with Damon Brooks. We're excellent. I don't celebrate pagan holidays. So you don't celebrate any pagan holidays? I mean, for the kids, yeah, we'll get them presents on Christmas, but this is right. Okay. <laughs> I'm Officer Hezekiah to my right. Josue. We got Josue with us, okay? So, Josue, today we are out here, right? And what we are trying to do is essentially learn from the people why they keep Easter, right? What you know about Easter? Uh, I, there's some of the eggs. They put some, they hide some eggs, and you have to find the eggs. That's you gotta hide some eggs and yeah. find them. Happy Easter! All right, Happy so brother Easter. Tristan, man, we out here trying to find out uh, what our people think about Easter, bro. So if I can ask you, uh, do you know anything about Easter? Not at all. Okay. So what you think about it? It's just another holiday to me. Another holiday. It's just okay. another day, but okay. I'm so blessed let me... to be alive, you know what I'm saying? So, okay, yeah. okay. So so what would you say the holiday consists of? Like what, what do you what would you say it's about? I couldn't really tell you that, brother. I could say it consists of candy gifts. That's all okay. I know. that's all I can really say I know about. No, God, please, no, no, no! Okay, uh, so what do you think we got the tradition about Easter? Where did this pagan tradition come from? Where do you think it came from? Probably some Greeks or something way back in the day. Right. <laughs> you know in Puerto Rico, it's probably a little bit Americanized over there, right? A little bit of American culture over there, right? They celebrate Easter over there, yeah, right? They do. But why? Like what what, do, what they just do, want to spend some money. They just want to spend some money, right? right Stop it. Get some help. You ever heard that it's supposed to be uh, celebrating Jesus' resurrection? You ever heard that? Uh, okay, good. That's good. That means, hey, that, that's a good thing. It's a great thing. Great thing, bro. Turn me on. So, that, that the holiday, mm -hmm. Easter, is not a uh, real holiday. It's a pagan holiday, and I'm going to show you the Eggs that. and Jesus the Christ have nothing to do with each other. You understand that? Yep, hell yeah. You believe in Jesus? Hell yeah. I okay, mean. so what holidays do you celebrate? Anyone. Anyone? Anyone. I just... I Name just, one. I just say it's Christmas when... <laughs> do you believe in the Bible? I haven't read it. Haven't read it? Okay, cool. I've, re I've read scriptures. You know, scriptures, okay. I believe in a higher power, though. You believe in a higher power? Okay, I can deal with that. You believe in the Bible? Uh, I'm not out of way. I believe in God. You believe in God? Absolutely. Okay. What? What the? F what you gonna find out is that the Bible is our history book. It's a heritage book. It don't support religion. The Bible is our, our history book, and it has our records. Okay, so let me ask you a question. As far as Christmas goes, is Christmas the birth of Jesus Christ? Well, supposedly. <laughs> supposedly, right? Yeah. But have we actually done the history to see if what they told us about Jesus Christ was actually true or false? No. Nope. Because we didn't do it with Easter either. We just follow what, what our, our, our parents tell us, you know? Exactly. The Bible is our, our history book and it has our records. And it talks about a chosen people who God chose to be his people. And in that Bible, he instructed his people not to celebrate pagan holidays. 
Not to fall for any tricks or traps. And Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Where? Lest any man spoil you through philosophy. So the Bible says, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. So philosophy is a type of a doctrine of teaching. So beware. Man, what do you think we got the tradition of Easter? See, that's not it. From a man, right? Exactly. You got it. It's a pagan holiday because pagan goes into the history of men. And I'm going to show you that real quick. Can we get that? Titus chapter 1 and verse 14. Not giving heed to Jewish fables. He said, don't give heed to them Jewish fables. Come on. And commandments of men. And commandments of men. So who taught us? Who taught us Easter? Man. There you go. Because you learned it probably from Ma Dukes and them, you yep. know what I mean? School. And they learned it from them and so on and yeah. so forth. Our oppressors taught us that, bro. Yeah. And, and, and when you read in the Bible, um, it was they, the, the, the word Easter comes from Ishtar, right. which is, uh, they call her what, the queen mother of heaven, supposedly. Mother, right. Our people was worshiping her and sacrificing to her. When you see a picture of her, she has a lot of breasts all around her body. Okay. Supposed to be the goddess of fertility. Supposedly, if you worship her or whatever, a lot of people is doing it to have kids, have children and stuff, and sacrificing as well. That's what the bunny and the eggs come in. So when you get your children and you participate in this thing, you are actually going against everything the higher power God wants us to do, and you actually are in full participation of some, some evil stuff, some wicked stuff. Easter is not in the Bible. If I said what color is Jesus Christ, what would you say? Uh, I guess he was white too. Oh my God! I guess he was right too. See what I'm saying? Yeah. I know I'm wrong though, but I get you know. You see what I'm saying? That picture are like white though. Right. And when you pray, at, so now and when you pray at night, you see a white man when you pray. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You see what yeah. I'm saying? So now what you have to understand is that is idolatry. That's the same thing as worshiping Easter and Christmas. Go ahead. This is the book of Beware's coming, the Antichrist. Okay. Six six six. Watch this. Nimrod was killed in his prime of life, and Nimrod's myth was that his death was to be avenged by the incarnation of his son, Tammuz, Go ahead. who was born at the winter solstice, uh -huh. December 25th. Now, who does that sound like? What, what, I, what, what does Christianity teach us that sounds identical to that? Who's born on December 25th, according to what they teach us? Well, the... Um I can't say that pronounce that name. Uh, no, no, you you already know. Okay, yeah, yeah, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Exactly. But when you go into history, that was the birth of a of a of a child named Talmud. Talmud, yeah. Talmud. But we know that nobody comes into the world through immaculate conception. You have to have a father. This is the book of Jeremiah, mm -hmm. chapter forty-four, and verse. I'm gonna start at verse seventeen. Yep. Go ahead. But we will certainly, as I'm starting at verse 16, yep. as for the word that thou hast spoken unto us so, in the name of the Lord. So what's going on right now in Jeremiah is the women was running everything. And they was, they was uh, uh, coming against their men, coming against the church. And Jeremiah came and told them, look, God don't want you doing this. This is the laws. This is what God want us to do. And he read it to them and told them what to do. This is their reply. As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us uh -huh. in the name of the Lord. We will not hearken unto thee. We will what? We will not hearken unto thee. Come on. But we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the queen of heaven. So they say, no, we don't, I don't whatever you read, I don't care nothing about that. We going to do whatever we want to do. I care what you said about that Bible, and we're going to burn incense to the queen of heaven. That's, I'm going to celebrate Easter. Right. Read on. And to pour out drink offerings mm -hmm. unto her, as we have done, we and our fathers, mm -hmm. our kings, and our princes. So they said, look, as everybody before me done, because look, today, it's the same equivalent as when we tell our people this, you know, they say, man, I don't want right. to hear all that. I'm going to celebrate Easter, just like my mama them did, and her mama them did. You know, I'm going to celebrate Easter, because it's for the kids. Yeah. Read on. And our princes in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, for then had we plenty of victuals and were well and saw no evil. Because again, I'm blessed. When you read this book, the Most High God gave uh, Satan power to bless uh, to bless as well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, you, I actually was you familiar with the Bible. 
So Easter is a very evil custom. I'm going to more on that? Yeah. Come on. I'm going to jump to verse 25. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 44 and verse 25. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of, Is mm -hmm. the God of Israel, saying, Ye and your wives have both spoken with your mouths mm -hmm. and fulfilled with your hands, saying, We will surely perform our vows that we have vowed to burn incense to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her. Mm -hmm. Yea, we will surely accomplish, yea, I'm sorry, yea, will surely accomplish your vows and surely perform your vows. Mm -hmm. Jump down to verse 27. Come on. Behold, I will watch over them for evil mm -hmm. and not for good. For and what? For evil and not for good. So what is everybody talking about? It's a good thing. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Right. Read on. Finish and that. all the men of Judah that mm -hmm. are in the land of Egypt shall and be. Who? And all the men of Judah mm -hmm. that are in the land of Egypt shall be consumed by the sword. So, what happens to our men today? Bring it out. What what happens every night down there? Black man getting killed. Black man getting killed, right? And we're killing each other, are we not? Yeah. That's what he said with the sword, but what would be considered a sword today? A gun. There we go. Plain and simple. See how easy that is to understand? Because oh, they made a vow. We made a vow with our women to go against God. Sunday. Yep. This Sunday. This Sunday is the holiest of, of holy to the pagan. So this Sunday that's coming up, right, is the holiest of holy to the pagan, which is in what, three days, two days? Two, two days. days. This pagan uh, observance was called Easter. Mm -hmm. And on this special day, the followers of the gods would hold what modern Christian churches call today <laughs> sunrise services. Right. The name New Year Festival that was held in Mesopotamia. Uh, Mesopotamia, so Mesopotamia was in Babylonia. Was, Babylon. was also held in Western Asia and Greece under the name of Adonis. Mm -hmm. He on. was he too was mourned with bitter wailing, and the East Star was his symbol. Mm -hmm. Read on. Has the reader ever re ever wondered what the Easter Bunny has to do with the resurrection so what is of the Christ? Easter Bunny has to do with the resurrection of Christ? Well, I was actually I was about to tell you right now. Or the Easter egg, like the festival of Christmas and the Christmas tree, mm -hmm. they have nothing whatsoever to do with the gospel of Christ. So that has no that has nothing to do with Christ. Great God of the Babylonians uh -huh. and Assyrians and his son Tammuz were symbolized in the form of trees. In the form of what? Of trees. So now I want you to notice. It says Nimrod of Babylonia. All right. That's way before the birth of Jesus Christ. So they were worshiping a deity who had the birthday on December 25th. So now how then would Christ be associated with this in any way, shape, form, or fashion? Anyway. No way whatsoever. Good to know about that. I didn't know about that. No, yeah. Most of our people do not because if you want to hide something from our people, you put it in the book. Because we don't read, we want to be entertained. That's what we want to be. Get that. You got something? Uh, Acts 12. Okay, Acts 12. Go ahead. This we out here to wake you up. That's all we're trying to do. We out here for our people. We want to show no, them according to the Bible that you are Israelite. You are a Jew. Mm. Okay? The book of Acts, chapter 12 and verse 4. Go ahead. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison mm -hmm. and delivered him to four quarterings Come on. of soldiers to keep him, Come on. intending after Easter, after what? After Easter, Come on. to bring him forth uh -huh. to the people. So now, in this verse, only Passover. Mm. But who, when you when you understand the Bible, the Romans were in power at this time, and they began to they began to um, merge paganism with the gospel. Is it more than that? Uh, verse 3. Go ahead. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Uh-huh. Then were the days of unleavened bread. So they so unleavened bread or Passover was celebrated at the same time as Easter. Because the beginning of the year is when everything is new. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yep. Now watch this. Right quick, get Numbers chapter 9. The book of Numbers, chapter 9 and verse 2. Mm -hmm. Let the children of Israel also keep the Passover. Do what? Keep the Passover. So you're the children of Israel. And the Bible says that you're supposed to keep the Passover. Now, the only way for you to keep this Passover is you have to now repent. You got to come back to who you are. You got to learn who you are. And then you have to come and join a, you, I'm going to tell you to come and join Israel united in Christ. So you can get your life and your mind back in order. Go ahead. At his appointed season. At his appointed season. Come on. In the 14th day of uh -huh. this month. In at, the 14th day. 
at even. So we celebrate Passover on the 14th day at even. That's going into the 15th day mm -hmm. of the month. Okay, go ahead. You shall keep it in his appointed season. Come on. According to all the rites of it. And according to all the ceremonies, therefore, shall you keep it. And we were supposed to keep the Passover during the, what's called the month of a bed. Okay? I believe it's the second. Go to Leviticus. I believe it's the second month. Mm -hmm. The book of Leviticus, chapter 23 and verse 4. Mm -hmm. These are the feasts of the Lord, mm -hmm. even holy convocations. Come on. Which you shall proclaim in their seasons. Come on. In the 14th day of the first month. It's the first month. I'm sorry. So mm -hmm. it says in the, in the 14th day of the first month. First month, come on, uh -huh. at even, uh -huh. is the Lord's Passover. That is the, notice what it calls it, the Lord's Passover. It does not say the Lord's Easter. Mm. It does not say the Lord's Christmas. Go ahead. And on the 15th day of the same month uh -huh. is the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And that's the Feast of Unleavened Bread because during that time, that's when you're supposed to get all the leaven out of your house. You're supposed to, you ever heard of spring cleaning? Did y'all do that in Puerto Rico? Like when they, like when it's, like when the springtime is about to come yeah, around, y'all clean the house and get all the stuff out? That's biblical. Okay. That's what we're supposed to do, right? So you understand, right? Yeah, I do. So you gotta wake up, okay? You gotta wake up. You gotta come that. back to your nationality and who you are, alright? Alright, nigga. Yes, sir. Alright. They get out. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.